Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to break down my yearly goals into quarterly goals and then prepare a process or plan for a process that helps me execute these goals. So let's get started immediately. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to list my goals here, right? So there's going to be podcasts, YouTubes and some articles and obviously breaking those down again. And I'm setting the frequency. First, I'll set a yearly goal and then I will then divide that into quarterly so we can all look at it and bite it in chunks that we can uh, basically create content on and not think about the end goal and then uh, get unhappy about not meeting such a huge humongous goal. So let's see how we can do that. First, I'm going to list podcasts. I'm, I'm going to have two podcasts that I'm going to work with and that's going to be uh, one is called the data science masterminds right and you know to 26 of them the frequency is going to be one every two weeks right so that's the frequency similarly i have something else that i'm starting that is on content creation and uh, this is basically the idea to improvise on content creation the processes behind it uh, the right mix of the right way of doing or making content and planning things in advance is what I'm going to be pursuing this year, right? So that's going to be a journey and I'm going to speak to a lot of content creators that will help me along in this journey and I'm going to put that as a podcast on the adjective content creators, right? So it's going to be adjective content creators. So I want 26 of them, that is again uh, and the same one every two weeks, right? Um, so that's podcast. Now then also YouTube, right? Now this channel is a new channel where I am starting a brand new channel on just content creation. Now I realized adjective content creators podcast will help me get the stories from uh, these awesome content creators. But then I realized I need to also put in or show the background work of how content is created, right? And which is why this video is perfectly suited for that where i'm trying to break down every aspect of content creation the background of it and then show it to you so that you also can plan accordingly and create more content consistently right so that's what the youtube channel will, will be about so i have already one on excel and um you know data science so this channel is called and it's on data science primarily right so i started with excel in the beginning but then i later switched on to data science as i was evolving into the content and so now this is primarily a data science channel and then i have again the adjective content creators youtube channel which is going to be there where i'm going to create like this working in the background content create creation videos so i've recently started on podcast but now it's also going to be on processes and how I plan for content and they're going to be long form videos which is just going to show you all the background work and obviously how you can do that. So this is going to be one uh, every week that's 52 and that's 52 here again. Now this is this seems like a lot but they are doable because every day or every other day I'm trying to make content and I'm just trying to record whatever I'm creating right. So I already have four or five videos on this, which is good enough for a few weeks. And then I also have um, maybe uh, four or five videos on it. So I'm good for, let's say, four or five weeks already or one month of content. So that's going to be one every week, right? One every week. So yeah, so that's there. And then uh, last year I tried to write some articles, but I wasn't able to write lot many articles so this year i'm going to try to write a lot of medium articles maybe not a lot but 12 of them right so this time uh, i just have one medium account so i'm just going to make it about data science and content creation and podcast mix so um in this uh, it's just again on my name so let's see the topic i haven't yet decided the topic so i'm just going to put question question mark uh, maybe it's going to just be a mix of three, right? So I'm going to put 12 and that's going to be one every month, right? So that's the goal. It's it's um, 
probably a big goal uh, and i'm trying to get that articles out i haven't figured out how that article process is going to be but there's some tools that i want to try out and churn out few articles and see how they do right so let's uh, hope these this this year i'm able to achieve that uh, however for this particular one uh, i was able to achieve it this year uh, not exactly 52 but more than 45 videos that's because i started in feb right before the covid started and then i created a process that help me get to making these many videos and i'm going to share that video of how i created a youtube uh, how i created a process on notion to help me be real and make youtube videos consistently one after the other right so that's another video that's uh, that you'll be seeing on how i created a process for creating youtube videos and i'm going to implement the same for uh, adjective content creators and i'm going to do the same thing for uh, all of them right so you're going to have detailed videos of how i'm going to break each of these goals down next so that's podcast youtube and then uh, another big part of uh, content creation is promoting or getting yourself promoted there right so this one is going to be big and this last time i did not take any marketing goals but this time i'm going to take marketing goals also right so it's going to be marketing content right now there are several ways that I'm thinking that I can tackle this. Now, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to try to get 90 pieces of content that I can repeat every three months rather than having 350 different pieces of content that I can share on different social media platforms, right? So marketing content is basically anything to do with uh, uh, that something that I can post every day on LinkedIn or, or on the statuses or anything that helps me get some views to the content that I'm creating above here, right? So that's basically some marketing content and they need to be short pieces of value towards the audience that you're catering to. And so I'm gonna take a stab of creating a good amount of marketing content that I can post on LinkedIn, preferably small bits of videos or uh, written content or uh, carousals or any of these uh, kind of forms to promote this above content, right? So I want to have a mix of, let's say 90 uh, pieces of content for data science and 90 pieces of content for content creation and see how that works out so that I can rotate them uh, every, one, uh, every now and then, right? So it's going to be um, maybe, uh, let's say data science, uh so yeah data science is one there and then content creation is another one of them right so the topic is going to be topic data science topic content creation i'm going to also have a topic on inspiration inspiration and then topic on processes process and productivity right so these are the uh, topics that i'm thinking i will make some content and i want to plan in bulk this time rather than doing one content getting up uh, every day and doing one content which is not going to be it's going to be counterproductive productive because again you know it, it's not going to be easy to just get up every day and generate new ideas right so i want to think in bulk so i can generate this content right so i want to make 90 pieces of content for each of them right and then it's going to be one every day um except except for a sunday i just want to leave sunday out i don't i plan not to work on sundays uh, essentially and to keep that day blank without any social media without any connection so um you know one every day except sunday is going to be the plan for me. And I'm going to rotate uh, this. I'm just going to add some notes here. So basically, I'm going to say, you know, uh, rotate this post or rotate every 90 days, right? So I'm going to try to use the same 90 pieces of content that I create, schedule it in different platforms that I can 
Instagram statuses, WhatsApp statuses, Facebook statuses, LinkedIn statuses, and see how well that content, this kind of content are uh, working, right? So at one point of time, the idea is to maintain 90 pieces of content that I can schedule for 90 days and then see what works best and replace the ones, uh, replace it with the, uh, and, and the ones that don't work, replace them with better content, right? So 90 pieces of content that will be uh, churned out every day on different platforms, uh, on different social media platforms. Now, I know this is big, but I'm going to try to also break it down. It's it's just an idea of how to promote, right? You need to spend good amount of time making content, but not all, not only making content, but you need also to have a good amount of time promoting that content so that people, the audience reaches to that place, right? So yeah, so these are my, um, the goals that I'm going to be working on this year. Uh, I'm going to call this as, uh, goals 2021 all right that's going to be goals 2021 and this is going to be heading two right and i'm going to say view and just remove the grid lines right so yeah those these these uh seems to be the goal uh let me just align this to be look a lot better similarly here maybe not okay i'm going to reduce this a little bit and extend this maybe align this okay so seems fair let me center line these now well, maybe this is good enough okay so th these seems fair um and these are my yearly goals now. And I want to now break these down into quarterly goals, right? The reason we break it into quarterly goals, it becomes much more doable rather than you looking at the 52 pieces of content, you're looking at a certain amount, a certain portion. And this sort of uh, helps as a guideline for me. Uh, but essentially what I am going to be looking at is how I can quickly finish making that quarterly content uh, or the 90 days worth of content, right? And essentially it's not even 90 days. I, I plan to complete it within the 80 days and then take 10 days for reviewing and see what I want to change and um, take a call on how to do, what, what to do next, right? So how do I break this into quarterly goals, right? Now, if I say quarterly, right? So these numbers will look a little different. Now, now why? So instead of 26, I'm just going to take uh, divide everything by four so that I get this uh, quarterly content. And let's see how that's going to be looking like, right? So it's going to be this divide by four, right? So that's six, uh, uh, six podcasts every quarter, right? Uh, and it's six. So I'm just going to say around up, right? So just say round up to zero digits, right? So that's around seven podcasts every quarter. So from, um, you know, beginning of Jan, uh, from Jan to March, I need to make seven podcasts and I have already down four podcasts. So which means I need to make just three more podcasts to be surviving, right? Because that that's the, that's the frequency, right? I plan to uh, produce one podcast every two weeks. And so that's the frequency. So I'm already four. I just need to make three of them to uh, achieve this goal. Similarly, I'm just going to now drag it down. And these are the numbers, right? So I need to make 13 videos for this quarter. Similarly, 13 videos for this quarter. Um, and, and then all of these things that are there, right? Now, now this looks like a more manageable number. The reason is, um, you know, if you have a process in place, and you are basically uh, thinking of putting, uh, thinking in, in bulk, let's say, right? Instead of thinking one video at a time, you're thinking in bulk, then this will help you as a, as a guideline for the immediate quarterly goals, right? And you'll be able to achieve them much more faster if you think uh, of the topics ahead of time. And I'm gonna show you how we are gonna do that on Notion 
and ensure that you achieve these goals, right? That to under 80 days. So, yes. So this is how basically you take your yearly goals and then break it down. And now we're going to take individual elements that is available here and then break those down into steps that you can chew every day right now we've got the quarterly goals this year i plan to achieve uh, these numbers this these many pieces of content and let's let's see if i can do that uh, and i'm going to share all the processes behind the working behind right not the actual content making but all of the processes how i'm thinking how i how things are failing what's working what's not working so those videos are what you're going to see on this channel the adjective content creator so if if you like this video on how to break down your yearly goals into quarterly goals please smash that th uh, thumbs up button please also subscribe to this channel to see all the behind the scenes of the content creation journey and how the processes behind will help you achieve all the content creation goals you have for this year, thank you.